Want to speak real Russian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RussianPod101.com. Hi everyone, Lina here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Russian questions. The question for today is, what's palatalization in Russian? And what's the difference between a soft sign and a hard sign? First off, what's palatalization? I know it sounds complicated, but most Russians know it simply as the softening of consonants. Palatalization is basically a way of pronouncing certain consonants. When you move your tongue from the back of your teeth to the center of the roof of your mouth, the palate, and that move will soften your consonants. You can hear that softening in the English word new, for example. Let's do some examples so that you could understand the notion of consonant softening. In English, the hard pronunciation of the sound n is heard in the word nook. When you pronounce the word nook, the tip of your tongue is right behind your upper teeth. In the word new, the sound n is palatalized or softened, and that means that the tongue is lying flatly in the middle of the roof of your mouth. In Russian, palatalization or softness can be achieved by two means. First, you can palatalize your consonants by the vowels that follow them. In Russian, there are 10 vowels that come in hard and soft pairs. A, ya, u, i, o, yo, e, ye, u, yu. So the soft vowels are ya, i, yu, yo, ye, and the hard vowels are a, u, u, o, e. So, if a consonant is followed by one of the soft vowels, it's considered palatalized. Let's take, for example, the Russian name Katya. In this name, the sound k is hard and not palatalized because it's followed by the hard vowel r. However, t is soft and palatalized because it's followed by the counterpart of the sound a, ya, katya. The second case, when you can hear a palatalized consonant, is when it's followed by a soft sign. A soft sign is a letter without its own pronunciation. What this letter does is it softens or palatalizes the sound preceding it. Let's compare two words, mil, chalk, and mil, sandbar or shoal. Can you hear the softened l at the end of the mil? That's what the soft sign does. Now, if there's a soft sign, there also must be a hard sign, right? In Russian, a hard sign doesn't have its own pronunciation either. What hard sound does, it separates a consonant and a soft vowel in a word. For example, let's take the word atyeli. They ate something. If we didn't have a hard sign between the sounds t and y, we would end up with the word ateli, which sounds different and means hotels. Well, how was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions to ask me? Leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. До встречи! See you soon!